now this looks like something straight out of your nightmares. This is the Chinese giant salamander, and as its name suggests, it is a large amphibian native to the rocky mountain streams and lakes of central China. It belongs to the family Cryptobranchiidae, also known as the giant salamanders, whose lineage dates back 170 million years to the mid-Jurassic period. Today, there are only five to six extant species from this family, including the Japanese giant salamander, the South China giant salamander, two other species of giant salamander from China, whose names I have difficulty pronouncing, so here are their names on display, and North America's hellbender salamander. The Chinese giant salamander is one of the largest salamanders as well as one of the largest amphibians in the world. The average adult salamander is 1.15 meters in length and weighs between 25 to 30 kilos. However, it is capable of reaching 50 kilograms in weight and 1.8 meters in length, making it the second largest amphibian species after the South China giant salamander, which can reach 2 meters in length. Unfortunately, this species is critically in danger and possibly no longer exists in the wild. So the Chinese giant salamander might take the title as largest amphibian. The Chinese giant salamander is endemic to central China, where they inhabit the lakes and basins of the Yangtze, Yellow, and Pearl rivers. They are entirely aquatic, and like most amphibians, they absorb oxygen from the air and water into their skin. This form of respiration is known as cutaneous respiration. Their preferred habitat, as I mentioned, are mountain streams and lakes, where they spend most of their time hiding in the crevices along the banks. These streams are usually found in forest regions at altitudes of between 100 to 1500 meters, with most specimens recorded at 300 to 800 meters. And despite being cold-blooded, these salamanders live in streams where the water temperatures vary depending on the seasons. The temperature ranges from 10 to 25 degrees Celsius at lower elevations and 3 to 20 degrees Celsius at higher elevations. Here's a quick little fact, if the temperatures reach 35 degrees Celsius, it is considered lethal to these animals. Not only are these streams the salamander's home, they are also its hunting ground. Their dark brown, mottled or speckled patterned skin provides them with the perfect camouflage allowing them to blend in with a rocky stream bed. They have poor eyesight but can sense prey by using the special sensory nodes that run the entire length of its body. These nodes can detect even the slightest vibration. Once the prey is in range, they quickly open their mouths, creating a vacuum sucking the prey into their mouth, and then they seal their mouths shut, only leaving a small gap open to let excess water out. Chinese giant salamanders will eat just about anything they come across. This includes insects, millipedes, horsehair worms, other amphibians like frogs and other salamander species, freshwater crabs, shrimp, fish, and even mammals like the Asiatic water shrew. Adult giant salamanders are also cannibals that will prey on juvenile salamanders. These salamanders also breed in water. Their breeding season occurs between July and September when the water temperature reaches 20 degrees Celsius. Females lay between 400 to 500 eggs, which the male guards in his underwater crevice until they hatch in 50 to 60 days. When born, the Fs, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, are born without legs like frog tadpoles, but will start to develop these as they get older. At this early stage, they have external gills, which they lose at around 19 to 16 months. They reach maturity at about 5 to 6 years old or when they reach 40 to 50 centimeters in length. Chinese giant salamanders are also one of the longest living amphibians, although their lifespan in the wild is still unknown. Individuals in captivity have been known to live for 60 years. It is also thought that they can live to 200 years, but these are undocumented claims. Unfortunately, it seems that captivity will be the only safe place for these guys as their wild population has declined by 80% in the last three generations due to, surprise surprise, human interference. The Chinese giant salamander is listed as critically endangered due to habitat loss, climate change, and most of all, overhunting. Overhunting has played a significant role in the decline of this species. The meat of the salamander is considered a delicacy in China, and it is also used for medicinal purposes. And while the Chinese government has passed many protection laws, over 100 salamanders are still being illegally harvested every year. You guys can also help the species even if you don't live in its native range by spreading awareness and helping to slow down and even stop the demand for its meat.
Thanks for watching, and I hope you and your significant other had a great Valentine's Day. Remember, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comments section. I will be happy to answer them. And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe for new content every Saturday. Later, Gators.